Uh, I just wanted to do this quick video. I'm, you know, I'm not really looking for a church uh, per se. So I feel like I'm looking for a church that has enough faith and just has faith in the Lord and, and I'm bored and, and actually doing what the Bible talks about. And, you know, that'll be a really surprise. I'm doing a little experiment now. It's called, uh, I guess you could call it church hopping because that's all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go looking at churches to churches and, uh, and I'm not going to really review them or nothing. Uh, I might review them in my heart, but but the biggest thing is it's not about how big the church is and how small the church is. It's really just about how uh, the, the, the church is as a whole, as a family, you know, how they are as a family and, and how, and, and you know, it, it normally starts with the, the pastor all the way down. Just, I'm just curious. I just want to know what other churches have to offer. That's it. Here in San Antonio, that is. So we'll see what happens. On with my adventure. First church I'm going is Places for Life. So it sounds like a nice church. Sounds like a great one. I don't really know. It's what I what I read on the reviews. It's got five stars. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what God does. Hey guys, so just to get a quick update, I went to the Place for Life Church and it was awesome. Uh, I'm glad I, I kind of st still went anyways. Uh, uh, right when I sat down, I looked to my right and across on the other aisle, there was a lady, an older lady, uh, sitting in a chair and, I, and the Lord kept telling me, uh, I don't know why he kept giving me her image, like of her shoes and her, and her leg. He was saying like, something's wrong with her. She's got pain in her legs. And I was like, all right. And I thought maybe he was telling me her name was Rosa. So I asked her if her name was Rosa and it wasn't. It's Dorothy. But anyways, um, and it's okay. We make mistakes, right? But I normally just ask people. So I asked her. She did have pain in her body, her whole body. She said she's been in a lot of pain. The doctors can't figure it out. She had a lot of pain in her neck and all in her left side of her arm and her hand and her leg and her lower back. And so guys, God gloriously healed her. I didn't want to pray for her. I kept feeling the Lord telling me, but I didn't want to pray for her because this is another church and I didn't want to go in there. And I just felt like maybe the pastor or people there would think like, who's this guy? Some random dude come off the streets and he's over here praying for people. Um, but at the same time, I had to be obedient. I just felt like the, the spirit kept you know, pushing me. So I asked her, she said, yes, I have pain on my body. We prayed, her pain reduced from a, a level eight all the way down to like a two. She still had pain in her lower back. So I asked her, I said, you know what? I, do you have one leg shorter than the other? She's like, I've, I've been told that, I don't know. So we, I had her sit down in a chair, raise her feet up. And I noticed one was just slightly shorter than the other. So I prayed and I, I really, I couldn't really tell. I wasn't sure because my, honestly guys, I think I need glasses, but my eyes are kind of messed up when I, uh, closer, close up. So anyway, I prayed and she said she felt one leg come out and, she, and then I had her sit, stand up and touch her toes. She said, I'm, 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 everything feels so much better. So I feel, you know, she went from pain level eight, her neck was killing her, her arm, everything to, I feel so much better. She's walking around like way better. She said she felt so much better. She felt something shift on her tailbone or whatever. Her leg grew out. So I just praise God. I'm glad I actually went. I didn't, I, that wasn't my plan, but I, the funny thing is I, I have a feeling that this is going to be a consistent thing when I go to churches. Uh, and that's okay. Uh, I'm, I'm open to what God wants to do. It's, it's his, you know, I've already told him, use me. I'm here for you. I'm not about, you know, religion. I'm about relationship. I'm about you, Lord. So whatever you want to do, just tell me and I'll be, I'll be obedient. I'll trust in you, and, and we'll see what happens, guys. This is a lot of fun. I love you guys. Take care.